This experiment is called Heart Rate and Body Position. It's experiment 25 from the middle school with Vernier Lab Manual. It's going to be using a hand grip heart rate monitor. These are the hand grips here. And then this is the receiver. We're going to plug the receiver into LabQuest, using that as an interface to go into the computer with LoggerLite software running. So this is the auto ID screen on LoggerLite uh, when we've plugged in the heart rate monitor. And for this particular lab, as with all of our labs from the books, we have an experiment file prepared for you. And I'm going to get to that by going to the Open button in the toolbar, clicking Open, and then choosing the Middle School with Vernier folder. Inside that folder are all the labs from that book, and I'm going to choose number 25, Heart Rate Position. So as this opens, you'll see it changing a little bit. We have uh, two graphs. The top one is going to be the heart rate that it calculates. The bottom one is the raw signal of the actual beats. So I have a volunteer to help me out with this lab today. Come on in and have a seat. I'm going to have my assistant hold on to these hand grips and putting his fingers into the positions where they're indicated on the hand grips. And then I'm going to be holding the receiver so that it is fairly near the hand grips and also so that the arrows on the receiver and the transmitter both are kind of in the same orientation. So the idea behind this lab is that he's going to sit here for four minutes while I take his heart rate. We're going to then have him lay on the ground for four minutes and see how that affects the heart rate and then he'll stand up for four minutes and see how that affects his heart rate. All right, so if we're ready to go, I'll go ahead and click collect on the computer and we'll see that uh, his data is coming in beautifully. So we have a signal coming in at the bottom, and in a moment here, his heart rate will start to come in on the top graph. Okay, so there's the first calculated heart rate. Then we have the subject lie on the floor for four minutes while we record his heart rate. Okay, so now we've moved into our final body position, which is standing. Uh, we've been here about four minutes. The data collection is about to finish, and there it goes. So you can clearly see the three different sections of the four minutes where he was sitting, four minutes where he was laying down, and four minutes where he was standing. Let's quickly take some average uh, heart rate numbers to see what each of those was. So if I select a region uh, where he was doing sitting the entire time and do statistics, I find a mean of about 65 beats per minute for the sitting portion. I'll come down here to the lying down portion and select a region and do statistics there. Mean is 54 beats per minute for the lying down and for the standing it went way up. to a mean of 87 beats per minute. So clearly the heart was having to work quite a bit harder uh, when he was standing. So that's a really good sample there of how your heart has to work harder when you're standing up than when you're sitting down or lying down. And it's just one of several uh, experiments for the hand grip heart rate sensor in the middle school with Vernier lab book.